What's going on guys? Mike here, bringing you another Blacklight Retribution commentary. This time on... Shit, I forget the name of the map. My bad. I, you know, I think from future videos I'm gonna remember the name of the map and I'm gonna write it down somewhere so you guys know exactly what I am playing on. What map I'm playing on, there we go. Um, but again, got some bolt action for you. But this time I actually, you know, spent a thousand zen that you get from your five thousand free zen, and I bought the incendiary magazines. And I must say, they are absolutely uh, ridiculous. Like they're so much fun to use. And you know, normally you shoot someone with one shot and they don't die. Now you shoot them with one shot and either they die or they take burn damage and then die. So. It was definitely a nice buy. That was a sick jump shot. I don't care what anyone says. That was nice. Um, but I'm just going to talk about the gameplay for a little bit. I don't do too well in this game. You know, join, try to try to snipe in this close quarter map. It, it's not the easiest thing, especially when people, you know, they're all using submachine guns and assault rifles. They definitely have the upper edge on me. So if my shot's not on, I will die. But also it's a game of domination. So, you know, people are going to be running all over the place. They're just back and forth, back and forth. And I kind of, I still don't know all the spawns yet, especially for Domination, because I've only played a couple games of it. So, so I feel like sometimes people, you know, spawn behind me, spawn, you know, right next to me. So I still gotta learn it, and and it, it's a learn, it's a work in progress. But don't worry, because like right here, I had no idea, but oh, I, I got this guy, and I was like, get off me. But that's incendiary bombs for you, or incendiary magazines, really good. Um, and I suggest, you know, if you're someone who likes to snipe, I suggest picking them up, you know, test them out and see how they work for you. But, uh, I do make a couple nice shots in this game, so that's why I decided to choose it. Also because it's a domination gameplay, and when I play domination, even if I'm sniping, I like to be, you know, I like to play aggressively. Um, you know, rush points, do whatever you gotta do to get a point, you know, uh, work with your team. Unlike Capture the Flag, where, you know, I like to play defense, sit back, and, you know, support my team. In domination, I like to be an aggressor and an initiator, and I like to, you know, get up in their face. And that's what I'm doing in this gameplay, and that's why I decided to choose it. But anyway, for those of you who are interested in playing this game, uh, they're currently, uh, what is it? They're currently giving away like 10,000 beta keys, and they're everywhere. Pretty much any site you go on, you can get one. Go on their site and get one. You go on Twitter and get one. Joystick has them, like 1UP, MMO, like all these different places have all these beta keys so if you're interested in playing this game just go get it like there should be no reason why you don't get a beta key and at least test it out before you bash it because I know a lot of people like oh you know I don't like the whole futuristic of it the HRV that you have is a little overpowered because you can see through walls and see where people are I mean I don't really see it that way I see it more as you know an anti camping unit and also a way to you know set up plays and know where to go and where like what vantage point to go from where to shoot people from so it definitely adds a whole nother layer of skill and I'm actually really glad it's in the game I think it's super super helpful um, aside from that like there's really nothing else that should put you off about this game like the graphics are awesome for a free-to-play game you know the engine works beautifully I haven't really had any problems with pretty much anything in this game the only thing I will say is a little bit eh that I don't like are the hard suits, but I feel like you gotta get used to it, and I still don't know how to play against it. This guy gets fucking rocked. Oh, man. I think that clip right there was the whole reason why I wanted to put this gameplay in, and mostly because, you know, I didn't want to do a long commentary because, you know, I had a long day at work and I just wanted to come home, you know, play a couple games, do a nice little commentary for all of you. Here I get proed out, but what can you do, huh? Can't win them all. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I've been loving the game, and I know a lot of people who play it also have been loving it. I've actually been playing with a lot of people in different clans, and they've been, you know, they love the game, and I've gotten a few, like, offers to join a clan. The only reason I'm not going to pursue it yet is because, you know, I still just kind of want to, you know, see where I'm at, you know, play with myself for a little bit, see where I can go, before, you know, I join up with a group of people and start to get competitive, especially, like, in beta. I mean, I don't really see a reason to commit myself to just one group of people. That guy got outplayed, thank you very much. But that's that's probably that's probably where I stand. You know, I'll, I'll play, you know, play alone or I have a few friends that do play the game and I've been playing with them a little bit 
and you know we'll go into lobbies we don't even try a lot of the time we just like to have fun and that's pretty much my main aspect when I play a game you know if I'm not having fun I'm not gonna play it and I feel like too many people take the game too seriously like a lot of people like oh my god look at my score I'm like fucking 1 in 10 like how I can't do this I gotta leave the game it's like dude just like pick a gun and just start going at people like there have been multiple times where I picked up a pistol and that was it but I don't know a lot of people take their score too seriously and I don't think that's a good thing but I don't know let me know what you guys think should I you play for fun play to win however it is but anyway guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one later